So a few weeks ago, I showed the new Soft Wolf emote, which you can use in the upcoming Slough Creek episode to tell your pups to go in the den. And we realized with that, we needed a way to tell them to come out of the den. And so looking over the emotes we had, we just chose Bark because it seemed like a good one, but it really doesn't seem like a good one if you think about it, because a bark is kind of an alert, um, warning kind of a sound, and it doesn't really make sense to warn them that it's okay to come out of the den. But we didn't know what to use instead. And so I emailed Tom Gable, who's one of our science advisors, and he's head of the Voyager's Wolf Project, which has been doing amazing research in northern Minnesota at Voyager's National Park, and just fantastic stuff. Learning some really surprising stuff about wolves and beaver predation, because it turns out that beavers are a very common source of food in that area. They don't have the profusion of elk that Yellowstone has, and so beavers are one of the best things I've got. So I encourage you to go check out their website and YouTube channel sometime. They have some fantastic video footage from their trail cams. Anyway, so I emailed him, and he said, actually, there is a vocalization that adult wolves' parents use to call the pups out of the den, as well as let them know that they have some food. And he sent me some videos with some nice audio that he's given us permission to use in the game. And here's one of them, a mother wolf trotting down a path with a muskrat in its mouth doing this squeaky whimper to tell the pups there's food coming. Really cool. So we've got this in the game now. And this is a new emote. Fortunately, we had one empty slot on the voice panel in the emotes. And so that's now the squeak to call pups to come out of the den. Now, in a bunch of recent videos, I've shown the pups up close as they trot around uh, the area around the den and play with each other. And some players have thought, does this mean that you can play as pups? Well, no, sorry, it doesn't. This will call the pup cam. And if you're uh, hanging out with your pups and you pressed Shift F, the camera jumps and I'll just jump from one pup to another as you press Shift F and you can follow them around and just see what they're up to. We weren't sure if this is just for development purposes so we could study the how the animations and the actions are working, but it's pretty solid. So it's going to be in the game and you'll be able to keep a close eye on your pups as you're hanging out there. Oh, and one other thing about the Rendezvous Rock video from a couple weeks ago. We got lots of response for that. Thank you very much. And of the three choices, Obelisk, Pyramid, and Pride Rock, clearly Pride Rock was the favorite. However, it turned out there were some problems with the pups pathfinding on a rock like this. And I should have known this before doing that video, but it's the pathfinding is complicated stuff and I'm not very bright. And so I just got a little muddled and thought that we could do it, but maybe someday we'll be able to refine, add that more pathfinding to pups, but not right now. We want to just get Slough Creek in good shape and get it released. So Pat Pride Rock is not an option. I'm sorry about that. This is why we generally don't show stuff in these videos until it's in good shape, but um, I thought it was and I was mistaken. So um, we also got a lot of suggestions that the rendezvous sites should not have the same rock in each one. And I, and I think that's true. And I had been thinking that, but as I worked on them more, you can see there's kind of a an area with, with um, less grass at the rendezvous site because everybody's trampled it down. And so it's pretty clear when you're in the rendezvous site. We just need something something small to mark the center of it, just so you know where it, where that is in terms of where the pups are in relation to it, how far they've wandered away. And so we are going to have a bunch of different rocks here. And some will stick up and some are just fl sort of flush on the ground. You can walk on them. And I think that looks more naturalistic. And sorry if you were very excited about having Pride Rock in the game, but that's just how game development goes. And it is going, it's going well. We are uh, really getting Slough Creek in shape and we are looking forward to releasing it in the not too distant future.